So this is a short video that goes over how to turn in a Google Docs assignment in my class. So if I'm going to my modules page, and I'm looking through what I need to do this week. Oh, I have a different kind of assignment. It's not one of the rocket ship quizzes. It is this icon, which means I'm going to be turning in some kind of assignment rather than taking a quiz. So if I click on that assignment, I will look at it, see that it is some sort of math assignment, and that I need to submit it as a Google Doc. So I can go over here to submit assignment in order to turn the assignment in. And when I click that, it brings up this at the bottom of the page where I can put in a URL and some comments and things. So I'll go over to my Google Doc. But I can't just copy and paste this URL because right now this assignment isn't something other people can see. It's private only to me. So that means that like my teacher can't see anything that I've written here yet. And I want my teacher to be able to grade me. So I need to click on this blue button. And then it has these different choices. I can decide to add someone individually. So you could add your teacher here, but the best habit to get into for a variety of reasons is to go down to this Git link. If you change the link to Hillsborough Schools and then change to editor like this, then whoever is grading your assignment will be able to see it. And the reason that it needs to be editor is because we want them to be able to make comments on your doc, give you feedback, go into the document history and look at what changes you've made, particularly if you're resubmitting, trying to get some more points, it makes it much easier for the grader if they can click on recent changes and go, oh, well, they fixed that part that I left them feedback on and now it's awesome. Now it's a much better assignment and I can give them a better grade. And so it's important to have it as editor. Some of your teachers may take off points if it's only viewer, some may not, but it's a good habit to get in to share it as editor. So once it looks like this, Hillsborough Schools Editor, you can copy that link, put it in here. You will need to paste it. You'll see that I had those drop down choices. Those were not this assignment. Those are whatever URLs I have put in before and my browser is trying to help me. It was not helpful. I'll see these comments while I'm grading, but I won't see them the rest of the time. So you don't normally need to put anything here. If there's something that your teacher should know while they're grading it, um, you might put a comment here, but most of the time you would just put that information in your assignment. So then you can click submit assignment. You can tell that it's been submitted because now it'll say, oh, it's been submitted. That's when it was submitted. And if you want to double check what you turned in, which is not a terrible habit to get into, you can click here with your mouse on submission details. And you can then click your URL. And that way you can tell you turned in the thing you meant to turn in and you didn't accidentally turn in something else entirely that you had, you know, because you copied and pasted something else or because it was autofilled or any of those reasons. And that is another chance for you to add a comment if there's something you need to tell your teacher who will only see these comments while they're grading. So if it's urgent, you should use the inbox instead. So that is how to submit an assignment um, if it's a Google Docs assignment. If you have any more questions, please send me an inbox message and I will explain in more detail. Thanks.